The brand new Arma Infraction Mega. And man, it looks good. <laughs> Big appeal to this, it's a little bit smaller and it comes in at a fraction, no pun intended, infraction, fraction of the price. But I... Two different colors, but I love the unofficial RC Sailor theme. Good job, Arma. I think you did a great job. All that's missing is one of our RC Sailor stickers, which of course our Patreon supporters can slap one right on the hood. Today we're gonna do a speed test of this brand new RC. We're gonna see how fast it goes right out of the box. And the cool thing about something like this is it's slightly more affordable than the bigger version, the big brother that's been out for a little while, but it's really a great platform to upgrade from the ground up. So let's say you want to do some speed runs. This is a really good system to get going ready to run with a battery and a charger. Everything you need to drive is included with this. And then you can slowly upgrade as time, education, funds allow for it. So in today's video, we're gonna run it on the included nickel metal hydride battery, but then we're gonna slap in the cheapest first upgrade you should do, which is with a 2S LiPo. We'll have that linked in the description box below too, but let's see how fast this goes right out of the box. So it looks really good. I think Arma did a really good job of making this thing look really sleek, but we wanna see how fast it goes. Now guys, I'm not gonna hold back on this one. We're gonna just start off at 100%. Now you can jump down to 50, work your way up to 75, but because we're on a nickel metal hydride, I just wanna go with 100 and see how fast we can get this to go right out of the box. I'm not expecting to set any speed records with this, but this is a good platform to start on as ready to run. So here's full throttle, here we go. That's 100% nickel metal hydride right out of the box. The Arma Infraction, brand new. I do expect to go a little bit faster on a 2S LiPo, but we'll go by one more time, full throttle. Here it goes, full throttle, it looks really good. But yeah, it's a lot slower than some of the big, you know, double the cost platforms. But let's take a look and see how fast this went. Then we'll do a really fast upgrade. I'll show you guys how easy it is. Okay, so we hit 20, oh. <laughs> 20 miles an hour right out of the box. Now remember, you can scale that speed down if you want to, but I don't think you'd want to. So let's talk about the cheapest, easiest upgrade you can do. And let's see how fast this will go on a fully charged 2S LiPo. So check this out, guys. Now this setup comes with this battery that's in here now and this charger. Now this is what's called like a slow trickle charger, okay? It's, it's a nice charger, it'll get the job done, but you're only gonna get like 10, 15 minutes of fun out of this on like a six or eight hour charge. So we'll have this battery, which is a massive upgrade for you, linked in the description box below. This thing has so much technology packed into it, it's crazy. But also we'll link a few charger options. Ours that we use, but also a budget option, because you don't have to use a super expensive one. Now when you run a LiPo, you turn this off, you unplug this battery, and the way you do the upgrade is very easy. There's two little jumper settings right here. You just pull this back one out, and you put it over here on the left side. And if you are confused at all, don't really understand, there's a little chart here. Right on the side, right on the side of the ESC, it tells you you can reverse your ESC and then you can also set it to have the LiPo battery. So let's do that. So everyone get a nice good look in here. Some guys that have been in the hobby for a while are gonna to wanna to see some of the stuff under the hood. But we do have a steering servo right up front. Here's our ESC. Receiver looks to be mounted in a box underneath that, so it's waterproof. And then our giant brushed motor. Now that's gonna pick up some heat the more you run it, but we didn't run it very long, so there's like no heat there at all. So this is 2S LiPo safe. Yeah, these nice oil-filled shocks, big foam bumper up front. And if you're wondering, and it's there. <laughs> yes, this is smaller than the larger, more expensive infraction, okay? So these come in just a little bit smaller. I actually really like this more compact size. There we go. There's 2S LiPo. Who thinks it's gonna be faster? And how much faster? Let us know in the comments below. Who thinks I should start this off on 50% or just go right for 100? Somebody recently asked in the comments, they said, Nate, why do you start off on 50% and then do your speed tests and work your way up to 100? By the time you get to 100, aren't your batteries low and it's gonna hurt your speed? No, we've actually tested this theory before. It does not affect it at all. That's the beauty of LiPos. You don't really start losing your voltage that early on in the video. I can tell already, it's definitely faster. I have it on 100. 
That's definitely faster on a 2S LiPo. We're gonna get longer run times and just higher performance out of this battery too. So remember, if you're looking to upgrade this Arma Infraction, a nice LiPo battery is definitely the first upgrade you should do. I'm sorry, my, my jacket was up in the corner there. I'm oh. trying to block the mic from the wind. <laughs> Here we sorry go. about that. Full throttle. 2S LiPo, I can tell it's faster. I can definitely tell it's punchier. But let's see how fast it actually went, you guys. And then Abby, you need to definitely give oh, this yeah. a shot. All right, we got 22 miles an hour. 22 miles an hour. That's not bad for a ready to run platform at this size. And the fact that it's Arma brand, so you have spare part availability. Now, now you, yeah, we have done some things on the channel recently that are pushing like 60 miles an hour. So it does feel slow in comparison to that. But this is not just, you know, consider this almost Ooh. like, <laughs> maybe, maybe consider this almost like a roller type of vehicle. A roller is a vehicle that doesn't have any electronics in it. Thankfully, this actually comes with electronics. You can run it right out of the box. And like kids or people that aren't used to driving really fast RCs can start off with something like this, run this a couple hundred times or whatever, and then when you're ready, you can buy a brushless upgrade system and really push those faster speeds. Right out of the box, we're seeing 22 miles an hour, set at 100. Abby, let's see if we can turn our throttle rate. Actually, I can turn that up just a hair. I just want to see what happens. Let me beat you. <laughs> All right, well look, you gotta be prepared. When you turn your throttle rate up, it's gonna go forward just a little That's bit on fine. its own. So, Try that and see if that affects it at all. Okay. All right, Abby's freezing over here, but the wind is killing. Get ready to turn your throttle knob up. Now, that's really just like a throttle trim, so I don't know if it'll affect it, but we'll push everything we can at it just as an out of the box experience. I think that's faster. I don't know. Could be my imagination. Get that sucker in a little closer so we can hear it as it goes by. I think this thing looks amazing. Very close. So what do you think about Arma doing an infraction mega, Abby? I like it, it gets more people into the hobby. Where are you going? Oh, turn your throttle turn back <laughs> down, yeah. <laughs> All right, you're still at 22, so I didn't go any faster. That's the idea though, guys. Like, to those purists, us that have been in the hobby for a long time, and we have our you know, $1,000 vehicles or $600 vehicles, we might think, ah, we can scoff at this, right? Why? No, a vehicle like this gets people in the hobby. Me and Abby, when we started our channel, we didn't buy $600 Armas. We had barely over $100 a person. Yeah, we had like $115 each. Now inflation, you know, that's yeah. that's worth a little bit more now. But we bought these Iron Track Spathas, right? That's what the, they were, pretty much garbage but they got us into the hobby and we drove those things probably more than any RC we own just because that's all we had at the time so a person can buy this and learn so much on it I've heard so many people in the comments of our Arma and uh, Vendetta speed run that we did because you know that's not a cheap vehicle say that they love the Vendetta but maybe it's slightly out of their price range and they want to buy this, the Arma Infraction Mega, and then put a brushless system in it later down the road. And that is actually exactly what this was designed to do. So bear in mind, it's not setting any records out of the box, but it's a good platform to start with. It runs and it's fun right out of the box. It looks really good and it's capable of handling some major upgrades. So we'll have this linked in the description box below. I love this color, but Abby said she actually liked the other color more just because it's different, but this is straight up Arma. You did a great job on the RC Sailor theme. I just want to give you a props. You know, you just forgot to put the anchor on there. Otherwise, nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. <laughs> I think this is it's just one of the best looking color schemes they've ever come out with. It's a little cold, but it's a beautiful day, and it was a great day for a speed run. That I thank God. Also, a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because you guys know we couldn't do our channel without you. You help keep fuel in the tank and just the free content for the world rolling. You absolutely rocked with that for promoting family-friendly content, seeing the value, and actually putting your money where your mouth is. We thank you guys so much for that support. We'll have the Arma Vendetta speed test video popping up right about now. That one is so worth your time. It'll knock your socks off. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.